In this video, we will explore the static transform publisher command line tool. So let's go back to the terminal where we executed the view underscore frames command and run the static transform publisher command. We type ROS run tf2 underscore ROS static underscore transform underscore publisher. Then the first three arguments as the desired translation and the next four arguments as the desired rotation in quaternion and the next argument as the parent frame from which the specified translation and rotation have to be applied to the last argument, the child frame. Notice we have called the parent frame as test underscore parent and the child frame as test underscore child. Remember our factory simulation is still running on another terminal. Now we hit enter and we see that a new ROS node is created that is publishing a static transform. That is the transform does not change over time similar to a fixed joint. Also this node keeps running until it is killed with control C. So before we visualize the frames we will see that the new node is appearing on the nodes list by typing ROS node list and searching for the node name we just saw. We can also use this command for those of you who are comfortable with Linux. And then only the static transform publisher node is displayed in the list because we only wanted that to be displayed via this command. Okay, anyway, let's now look at our TF tree again. Also, watch out, the previously generated PDF file will be overwritten by this command. So, if you want, you can rename the old file, that's the old PDF file, and then we can start the view underscore frames command, and we wait for the TF tree to be generated. And now we can open the PDF file like we did before. So we see two things here. First, we have a new pair of frames and notice that we now have two root frames namely map and test underscore parent. And this is an example of a disconnected TF tree which I spoke in the previous video. This is almost always not desirable in a ROS application. If you specifically want to have such an architecture, it is still usable, but you will have to make sure you are asking for the right kind of things from TF. For example, now the TF underscore echo command will throw an error. Let's see what it says. So we say ROS run TF TF underscore echo test underscore child which is the new frame that we just published via static transform publisher and base underscore link, which is actually the base link of the turtle bot. And then we hit enter and we see that it's not updating anymore. And if we scroll up a bit here, we see it is telling us, yeah, sorry, the two frames do not have a connection as they are a part of disconnected trees. Anyway, we can also publish a static transform between an existing frame in the TF tree, for example, map and a new frame as its child like test underscore child. Then if we create the TF tree again with the view underscore frames command and we wait until it's generated and now we open the tree again, the PDF file we see that the TF tree is completely connected again. Also going back to the terminal, if we now ask TF underscore echo to tell us how test underscore child and base underscore link are connected, it will be very happy to tell us. 
okay that concludes the code illustration on static underscore transform underscore publisher next we will learn about some fun apis from the tf2 underscore ros package which we will which will eventually help us to transform the pose of the object detected by the logical camera to a pose that we can use to grasp the object with robot 1 see you soon in the next video